Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And someone sent me this, this palm tree and they want to do a contour around it to cut it. And if you click on it all, I see two nodes right there that don't we don't need. They might cause problems, so I'll select them and hit that. Now you could use the boundary tool on this, but I find it in this case a little bit quicker to use the smart fill tool. So draw a rectangle and then fill in that. Now the one of the keys is not to move it but to nudge it. So this thing is 45, so we're going to make the nudge factor 46. We're going to take our color and we're going to move it over. And then we're going to left click, right click. And then we're going to go to object and break the curve apart. And then we can get rid of our rectangle. Now we'll take it all and we need to go up to object and group it together so the contour will work. Then go to effects contour. We're going to contour to the outside one millimeter with rounded corners and hit apply. Now what, what I would always do first would be to select it all again, go up to object, break the 11 objects apart, or sometimes it'll say break the contour apart, and we'll move it over and we'll double click on the pen tool, change it to a hairline, Change it to red, RGB red. If you're an engraver, it'll cut better. Now we can get rid of our original rectangle. So the graphic is still there. All the inside of the tree is still there. Now, if that's too much of a contour, let's take our contour line. And now let's contour the inside 0.5 millimeters. It's already set on black. I'm going to leave it on black. And you can see the difference. Then go up to object, break contour apart, try to grab the red, and you can see it's red down here, so we'll just nudge it out of the way. And now grab your contour, and you can see it's a hairline, but it's CMYK black. We need to change it to RGB red for cutting, and then hit OK. And now you have a contour around the tree. It's a little bit different than using the boundary tool because the boundary tool is going to get into there more and just seems like this works. So I'm going to make try to make a second video later today on this to do the same thing. But anyway, I hope that helped them and thank you for watching.